And so we have this continuous life record of individuals over time that's unparalleled. There's nowhere else in the world, actually, that this data exists. The director of OHSU's Aging and Alzheimer's Disease Center, Dr. Jeffrey Kay, has dedicated the last 30 years to understanding the way we age. And now he's finding a better way to do that research. And the new way of doing things was to use technology in the home to understand how people age every day. For more than a decade, studies have used an array of sensors to assess changes in the lifestyles of aging adults at home. But as technology has evolved, so has the research. And these are things like wearables, um, passive sensors in the home, uh, a scale that just tells us their, their weight and pulse every day, um, ways of looking at how they sleep overnight without them having to do anything. Earlier this month, he presented his research on what's known as Life Lab Systems to the Alzheimer's Association's International Conference. Uh, this is the first what we call digital pathologic correlation. The $8 million project called CART, or Collaborative Aging Research Using Technology, is in more than 200 homes across the country, including here in Portland. It collects information about mobility, cognitive function, sleep, weight, and more. And that's caused a whole revolution now in understanding how people are aging, how they may be at risk for Alzheimer's disease, how we might actually be able to more quickly develop treatments to really do something meaningful for people who will get Alzheimer's disease or who have it. And because of the accessibility of the data, they're able to study on a diverse population, breaking down barriers to research like never before. We believe that this kind of approach is the way research, clinical research needs to be done going forward. Now the goal here is to create a national research model using new tech to ensure independent healthy aging for our growing aging population. And because this day-to-day -day tracking gives researchers a clearer picture of clinical studies, it could help lead to better treatments for the millions of Americans living with Alzheimer's. And you can learn more about this and other research out of OHSU at KGW.com. And while you're there, check out the other stories that we've done focusing on our aging population and Alzheimer's research. And Laurel, that includes, I have to say, just a really touching, amazing piece that you did about the power of music and really the power of love. I oh, thanks, it. Brittany. Saving is music that we did last week. Dan mm -hmm. was here and so many people reached out to us and uh, wrote about their stories because Alzheimer's affects so many people and dementia. It really does. And th that was a very powerful story that Laurel did. But it's really interesting research that they're able to use these the technology that we already have around us to help fight and combat this disease. Yeah, it's a very big deal. Five million Americans living with Alzheimer's disease. And the cost, too, that's something that we talk about a lot. As our uh, population continues to age, by 2050, it's projected it's going to uh, uh, cost more than $1 trillion to care for those with Alzheimer's. So big, big topic. Good to topic. see these advancements they're making. Definitely. Thank you, Brittany.